what's going on everyone? Down here at the shop today, got some, uh, got some fire today. Had a, had my buddies over at Tank It Easy in Chicago send me something that I've wanted for a long time. Um, just never really pulled the trigger and I uh, talked to my man Tom over there at Tank It Easy and Brian and got me something special. So, uh, let's get it out the box, huh? Alright, just going to uh, apologize here ahead of time. I, uh, I forgot my camera at home, so I'm using my phone. So just uh, bear with me here as I do this one-handed and uh, get this box opened up, hopefully, one-handed. We'll see how good I can do. I think we did okay. Oh, this is going to be the hard part here. Oh, and of course, it's taped all the way around. Hold that thought. Okay. We got it. Now, we just cut her the rest of the way. Let's see here. There we go. I think you guys are really going to like this. I know I do. Alright, let's see if that's good enough. Of course not. Uh, apparently I didn't cut it. Thought I did. Oh, we cut it over here. There we go. Tricked ya. What is it? Paper, paper, paper. Oh, we got a bag. see here now obviously you're not gonna be able to see it in the bag there's my more shuttle but <whistles> so I mean through the bag it looks like an anemone of some sort we'll have to uh, get her acclimated and see what it is all right we got her in the tank She's uh, over here, right there, in that little thing. Um, but yeah, she's still a little upset, obviously. But it is, let's see if we can get a decent film here. A Chicago Sunburst. Obviously, she's still a little mad. Um, she's been in the tank for a few minutes. I wanted it to open up a little bit, but... I figured whenever I do an update video or whatever that, you know, we could, you'll see it fully opened or whatever. I mean, Chicago Sunbursts are pretty popular, pretty popular anemone. Um, they're super expensive and that's why I've just held off for so long on getting one. But I figured it was just, it was finally time. So I guess we give a little update with the rest of the tank here. We got my little torch garden here. Got just like some Indo Green. That's just an Aussie. This Indo Gold, a green Indo, and this is probably one of my favorite ones right here. This is a Rasta torch. Love them things. Then we got a couple Indo Golds back there, Dragon Soul. Then some mushrooms. These mushrooms here are a gumdrop. These ones here are kryptonite. You can see. Let's see if I can get to it. Like, so over here is the mama. She just had this baby recently over here. Um, and this is an Aussie gold. Couple of branching hammers. Can't go wrong there. Some acans back there. And this, I don't know, this is like a Yemensis. Or, I mean, I totally screwed that, that pronunciation up. But it's like a frog spawn. Or... Uh, Yemensis, however you say that, but yeah, it's sweet. Just thinking, love this thing. It's black with green tips, super cool. And of course, here we got the glitter Ganiapora, super nice. I don't know how good it's gonna look, yeah, probably not. But this guy, Mr. Blue Spot, how you doing, buddy? He keeps um, digging tunnels under it like a little jerk, but. 
you know, I think just about every day I come in here and fix it. I mean, you could see, don't mind the algae there, but you could see how it's kind of like, I don't know, pushed up here against the glass more in this area. And yeah, that's from him, this guy. How you doing? But whatever, as long as the Gani's not dying or doing bad, then whatever, it is what it is. But then we got an Aussie gold here, which my clowns keep thinking is a bubble tip apparently. So hopefully, uh, hopefully once the, the chai burst gets opened up and happy, I, I don't think I want to leave it in that all the time. Um, I just got it in there temporarily. I would like for it to honestly go out on the rock work somewhere. Um, I'm just not sure where yet. Obviously, where I put it, it's not necessarily going to stay there because, you know, they move around. But I'm hoping that it'll stay somewhere out of the way, I guess, and not, you know, bother anything. And obviously, I don't have any corals up on top yet. I eventually plan to. Well, I have this acro up here, but it's... Uh, it's dying. I don't know. I can't keep acros alive for whatever reason. So, the last frag swap I was at, I bought that. I think it was like 20 bucks or something. It's nothing special. Just a plain Jane. I mean, it had a name, but I don't remember what it was. It was only like 20 bucks. So, I was like, you know what? Let's try it again. But, yeah. So, hopefully it'll go out somewhere and just stay out of the way and whatnot. And the clowns will start hosting that and not... Or it'll host the clowns, not... However, you know, you know what I'm saying, but anyway, yeah, so I mean, and this Aussie gold's huge. It's got to be like, I don't know, two or three mouths on it. They're not fully split yet. Once it fully splits, I'll probably cut it up, but when there's Mr. Gem Tang hogging up the camera, another one of my, my of the fish I like is right here. I don't know, you could probably barely see his head poking out. I don't, oh, there he went. Yeah, I don't want to get too close because I knew he was going to go back in, but it was a uh, Yasha Gobi. We'll give it a second here and see if he comes back out, but probably not. Let's see. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Negative. But, yeah, so he was in there for a quick second, but it was a Yasha Gobi. I actually have a pistol shrimp who lives under here. And then also under here, under this rock. And was hoping they would pair up, but of course they haven't. At least not yet. And, I mean, they've both been in there for a month or so now. So, hopefully eventually they'll pair up. But, as always, I appreciate you watching. If you're not subscribed, you don't mind hitting that subscribe button. It would be greatly appreciated. Greatly appreciated. And, uh, you have a good day.